What's up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Kira and today I'm going to be giving you guys a nice little Ulta haul. The other day me and my friends stopped by Ulta and I got me a few goodies and I'm really excited to show you guys and I will be using them in future content so be prepared for that. I have a lot of beauty content planned because I know y'all like that and yeah so let's go ahead and hop right into this haul. I actually ordered a lot of this stuff so actually a lot of the stuff is open but all of the other stuff I actually just got. And when I say I ordered them, I literally just got them. All the products that I get, I will put on the screen. If you want to go check it out online, I will leave the link to Ulta down below so that you guys can check out each product as I show you guys. And you guys can do your makeup with me in future videos because we'll have like the same makeup products and it'll just be, hey, we can do it together. Okay, period. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I have a lot of stuff to show y'all and I don't want to hold y'all for long, but I'm really excited for every single product that is in this bag. I don't know why Ulta was planned on me and my friends with they were giving literally all of us these tiny bags and they filled it to the brim like this bag was full so like Ulta can you get that together I mean I know we trying to like not waste plastic and everything like save the planet but like girl I was literally walking out the store with like stuff falling out my hand okay chill out Ulta what you doing oh my gosh that noise is gonna be in the background oh it's not too bad Okay, so the first thing that I had to get, I had to re-up on my Morphe setting spray. I haven't repurchased this in a minute. Y'all know I don't really use setting sprays at all. I don't know, I just don't reach for them that much. I feel like they don't really do much, but I do know that I really like the way that this made my face look when finished. I couldn't say that it made my makeup last longer in any way, shape, or form, but I do like the way that it set and like melt into the skin. I don't know, I like the way that it looked. I don't know, it wasn't like my favorite, but I love this. So I got one of these. The next item that I picked up, I actually have have used which is why it's opened this is the Kylie setting powder and this is in yellow I just needed like a new like banana powder and I actually have tried this powder out before but mine that I actually have I ended up leaving at home I just wanted one to have with me at school because I actually really like the powder especially for a little natural like no makeup makeup look I feel like this powder works perfectly for that I was really excited to dig into it which is why I opened it yeah I missed it I definitely missed it it was definitely an essential when I was at home so I'm glad that I got me anyone. Moving on, the next thing that I got, I actually, y'all already know how I feel about the Born This Way concealer. This is literally everything to me. I have it on my face today. Y'all, I scraped this one down to the brim like the label isn't even on it anymore. As you guys can see, it's literally been scraped. I love this concealer, so I had to get me a brand new one, and I'm so happy. You know, the whole bottle just looked completely different when I pulled this out of the box when I got it because, like, it just feels good to get new makeup and I'm so happy that I got me a new one because I was literally scraping, scraping. It was getting kind of embarrassing, like I was embarrassing myself. I just needed a new one, so I got me a new one. And y'all should get one too because this is the shit, like everything. The next item that I got is actually a Maybelline Dip Me Concealer. I needed a new one because I ran out. Did I say concealer? Foundation, am I done? <laughs> Foundation in the shade 356. I have actually tried the shade out and I have it on my face today. They came out with the shade range like a while ago but they actually came out with new in between shades i used to jump between 360 and 350 but now they have a 356 and this one literally matches me perfectly so i'm so glad that i got this i love this foundation i've been using it forever and i'm happy that i got a new one because i was really sad when i ran out this is like a perfect like everyday foundation the next thing that i got is actually a new shape tape as much as i actually don't really like this concealer i don't really see the hype behind it like i don't really like it all that much but I do like to mix it with the Born This Way to get like a highlighted look and so this one is just the first one that I saw so I grabbed it let's be honest but I did use it in my makeup look today which is why it's open like I don't really have to explain that but if you guys do want to see the makeup look I did do a tutorial on it so make sure that you go and check that out and I picked it up in the shade Tan Deep Sand or 475. All right so the next couple products that I got I really have been gravitating towards e.l.f. recently like it's literally just been pulling me in and I love elf products I actually have always loved elf products but more recently I've just been like elf what y'all got going on they got all new stuff coming out they're inexpensive they're great products they actually work and they look amazing so I was over in the elf section a lot like I literally would go over there get some stuff leave come back and get some more stuff and it just went like that like the whole time that we were there first thing that I got are two things that I already have but again I left them at home this is the elf putty primer and I got it 
in the mattifying one and the poreless one. I love the both of these. The pore filling one is literally everything. People were comparing it to like the Tatcha silk canvas or whatever that one was called. It was supposed to be a dupe. I don't know. I never tried that one out because it was crazy expensive. But I do like this one. So make sure you're going to get your hands on that. The next thing that I got, I needed a new concealer. I ran out of my e.l.f. one. Y'all know I love the camo concealer. This is in the shade. It's actually not my shade. It's deep cinnamon. But I really needed one. So I went ahead and got it. This would be more of like my everyday concealer shade. Like it's really close to the Born This Way. It's a little more neutral. But I don't know. I just really needed one. They didn't have my shade. And so I love this concealer. Great for it every day. It's really full coverage. It lasts forever. It doesn't really crease on me. And I love it. If you get anything that I said in this haul, get this. It's literally $6. And it's better to me in my opinion opinion than the shape tape. I'm just gonna show you. I don't really like the shape tape. That's rude. So a lot of these items, like I said, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on and get into. So a lot of them are open, but please don't mind that, okay? Because it was for a reason, okay? I love all this stuff. The stuff that I opened is stuff that I've used before. I love them all. So I had to re-up, had to re-up. Or really kind of double up, because I already had like full containers of these. But anyways, I was there, I wanted to spend money. So that's what I did, Shh, don't tell nobody. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is this. This is the e.l.f. Super mask but the packaging first of all is so pretty it's like bright and neon this is a face mask but i decided to test it out i'm really excited to use it and it actually smells pretty nice too it smells really like clean i'm actually really excited about this product so all right the next couple of things i have talked about before my elf creams okay this is the eye cream and this is the night cream love these to death oh my gosh essentials in my skincare routine i got the nourishing night cream and this i use it day and night it doesn't matter the time because it just works that well it's really cooling i keep this in my skincare fridge and i'll even go in after applying this with my jade roller over top and it just feels like a spa at home these are super inexpensive like if you're trying to get into skincare try these out because i literally love them moving on i finally got me an elf sponge people were raving about this for the longest and i don't know i really love my sonia cash so I wasn't really stressing like that. I already have so many sponges actually It's crazy that I don't even use like I literally only use my Sonia Kashuk So I was like I really don't need to buy a new sponge because I'm probably not going to use it But everyone's talking about it and I'm really excited to use it I really like the color of it, but yeah, so I just finally got it I'm actually really excited to try it out because people were raving about it And so I'm gonna try this out for you guys in a future video Obviously, I got a lot of elf stuff. So I really want to do a full face of elf I wasn't really planning on doing that but since I got so much my design well we're gonna go ahead and do that in a future video so be on the lookout for that all right so the next thing can you guess where it's from oh so i just got this setting powder now i have never seen this before i didn't see anyone try it out they had a white one and like this pinky like it's a soft luminous shade i don't know i just thought i'd try it out i've never really tried like a pink setting powder but i know some people use it i don't know if this was just a bad idea but i really wanted to try it out so you guys will see me test it out let me know if you guys have tried this out before because i'm actually really excited to use it i literally always use my Huda Beauty setting powder and it can get pretty pricey so I need a more inexpensive one so maybe this will be the one I don't know if they have other shades they only have those two shades in store so I just grabbed this one but we'll see how it works on the face the next thing that I got I just needed to re-up on a new brow pencil actually I still have mine it has plenty of products in it it's literally right here and I still have plenty of product but I mean this brow pencil is only two bucks and I'm obsessed with it at least I'll have one ready to go for when I run out so I just just pick me up a new one all right oh my gosh all right y'all so let's see if i can remember where i left off i actually ended up having to go off camera because my sd card ran out of storage i had to empty that off and yes yeah, this whole thing but i did order a new sd card so hopefully we don't have that problem anymore let's go ahead and keep it moving so i think i was on my last two items so hopefully i didn't forget anything here i just have this product from elf this is the liquid glitter eyeshadow in flirty birdie and oh my god 
wash when I got this when I seen it I instantly was like I have to get it I have to get it and I wanted to get it in every shade but I was like let's be, be real they may not be that good so let's not waste their money and I don't want to return anything I don't think they're even accepting returns right now because of corona so I was like let's just get this one and if it doesn't work out it's only six dollars rather than getting like all like 12 and then wasting nah it ain't worth it sis <laughs> especially when we're broke bitches okay period but here it is it looks so cute oh my gosh it just looks so professional but I got this and I believe it was only six dollars like I said so not that bad okay L. all right and I believe the last thing that I have to show you guys is this elf lip plumping gloss this looks really pretty of course I'm sticking with like my natural everyday shades like literally right in the same realm really like every single lip product that I own is literally this shade hold up let's not forget our kissy face look at that do I have a problem I keep reaching for the same exact thing I need to get out my comfort zone that's what I need to do I don't really wear lipstick like that like I don't know if I wear lipstick it's going to be like a simple new type look like that's just what I like but I have this lip gloss this is in the shade mocha twist and I'm actually really excited about it I feel like it's gonna look really pretty on the lips and it's actually a plumping gloss okay we love us a good plumping gloss okay and make them lips look nice and voluptuous and juicy and just mm. Naturally. I'm actually really excited about this. I think it's gonna be really pretty over top of my kissy face, period. Like, not me throwing shit. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys are just as excited for me to use these products as I am and future content to come. Don't forget to check out some other content. Click on some of these videos on the screen and check those out and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I'm waiting. Click it. What are you doing? Can you click it please? <laughs>